Nahum chapter 2. The one who shatters has come before you. Secure your defenses, watch the path, strengthen your loins, and fortify your power mightily. For the Lord has turned away the glory of Jacob, like the glory of Israel, for the plunderers have emptied them out and ruined their vine branches. The shields of their mighty warriors are red, their valiant men are dressed in scarlet. The chariots will be ablaze with flaming torches on the day of preparation, and the cypress trees will tremble violently. The chariots will race through the streets, jostling one against another on the open squares. They will appear like torches, they will dart about like lightning bolts. The leaders will recall their officials, they will stumble in their haste to the wall, and the protective shield will be in place. The gates of the rivers will be opened, and the palace will be in dismay. Huzab will be led away captive, she will be brought up, and her maids will mourn for her like doves, beating their breasts. But Nineveh, like a pool of water, is of ancient origin, yet they will flee away. Stand, stand! They will cry, but no one will look back. Seize the silver. Seize the gold. There seems to be no end to the treasure and the wealth from all their precious furnishings. She is empty, void, and desolate. Hearts melt, knees knock together, and anguish is on every side, with faces growing pale. Where is the den of the lions? the feeding place of the young lions, where the lion, the king of beasts, once prowled, and his cubs, and no one made them afraid. The lion tore enough prey for his cubs, and strangled prey for his lionesses. He filled his dens with the kill, and his lairs with prey. Behold, I am against you, declares the Lord of hosts, and I will burn your chariots in smoke, and the sword will devour your young lions. I will cut off your prey from the land and the voice of your messengers will no longer be heard.